is example number six in your textbook. So what the directions are given, I am not following uh, your textbook. Just what we learned that I will follow here. Right? What we learned here, just using sign convention and uh, moving through any loop in clockwise direction or in a anti-clockwise uh, direction that we learned. So that same I will follow here. Okay. Then writing the loops here. Writing the loops. So without opposite currents. Without opposite currents. So where you want to start? Suppose I want to start uh, at a point uh, A. At a point uh, A. Then I am moving. I am moving towards a uh, point F in a clockwise direction. In a clockwise direction. So A to F. F to E, next E to D, then D to A. So finally I reached. Right. So this is loop one. So in the loop one, I am finding the number of components. A to F, nothing is there. F to E, F to E, there is one uh, resistor. There is one resistor. The next uh, E to D. No component. Next, D to A. There are two components, namely, they are here resistor and a battery. Resistor and a battery. Then write the equation. That equation will give you it must be equal to zero. So that I am writing here equal to zero. Then what are the components available? Uh, two resistors, right? So one resistor is 4 ohms. I'm moving through that resistor in the direction of current. So minus 4 I2. Then D to A. There are two components through a resistor. Current is given I1 plus I2. I1 plus I2. The next uh, here product of uh, resistance and current. So 3 into I1 plus I2. Symbol along the current direction minus. Then through a battery, minus terminal to plus terminal. So plus is taken, 12. Don't write the units here, 12 V. So V is not a component. It is a unit. We are not substituting units in any equation while solving. So this is I got. So solving, two currents there. So solving that, minus 4 I2, minus 3 I1, and minus 3 I2 will be written on expanding. Then 12 is equal to 0. So here I1 term, sorry, I2 term and I2 term. So first I write I1 term minus 3 I1. Next minus 3 minus 4 minus 7 I2. Then constant is 12. So equal to 0. This is equation 1. Next I am going to loop 2 here. Loop 2. So what is loop 2 here? Starting at A. Starting at A, moving in the direction of current, so it is towards B and uh, B to C, C to D, and moving in the direction of current only, not opposite. So D to A, so I reached the same point. So this is loop. So A to B, nothing. B to C, there is one co uh, two components, right? There are two components. One is resistor and the other is battery. Next, uh, D to C to D, no component. D to A, there is one component that is here, sorry, two components. One is resistor and the other is battery. So four terms I will get in my equation. Four terms I will get my in my equation. So here, B to C, battery, through a battery, Towards negative terminal, so negative sign is assigned minus 5 written. Then along the direction of current, a negative sign through a resistor. Then product of current and resistance will be given as 2 into I1. Next to C to D, nothing. D to A through a resistor, opposite plus along minus. So minus I1 plus I2, then into resistance. So that is here 3. So 3 into I1 plus I2 with negative sign along the direction. 
next through a battery pass to terminal so plus 12 that equal to zero on expanding this one here what you write minus 5 minus 2 i1 minus 3 i1 and minus 3 i2 plus 12 is equal to zero next here adding the same term square checks so here this is same minus 2 minus 3 minus 5 i1 next i2 minus 3 i2 is there next minus 5 plus 12 it is plus 7 given so this is equation 2 now observe equation 1 and equation 2 equation 1 and equation 2 what you will find out here same terms there i1 and i2 with constant but uh, same symbols here so when the same symbols are there right what i am doing here i am trans changing the equation one i is equation to here by taking minus common so what you will get here minus common means plus 3 i1 next uh, minus common plus 7 i2 next minus common minus 12 equal to 0 so this is equation 2 then observe equation sorry number changing here okay equation 3 observe equation 2 and equation 3 are there any term with equal coefficient no i1 term different uh, coefficient i2 terms also different coefficients so you need to say uh, equate that uh, coefficient so equation 2 to equate the uh, coefficient of i1 and taking the cross product of these right so here 5 is the coefficient of equation 3 i1 component then 3 is the coefficient of equation 2 i1 coefficient so oppositely i taking so 3 is multiplied by 3 2 is multiplied by 5 c oppositely i am multiplying the equation so 5 is multiplied right multiplying the equation 2 so multiplied by 5 so this will be 15 i1 and 7 5 times is 35 i2 then 12 5 times is 60 so minus 60 equal to 0 then here multiplying by 3 in the equation 3 so minus 15 i1 minus 9 i2 21 equal to 0 so this is equation number 4 and equation number 5 then adding equation 5 by equation 4 so transfer this one so what i will write here plus 15 i1 plus 35 i2 and minus 60 is equal to 0 then adding them no need to change the symbols already i changed here right so in your mathematics changing the symbols here when you subtract not adding right there is a confusion here when you subtract only you can change the symbols oppositely while adding no need to change the symbols then here plus 15 minus 15 i1 cancelled then what is the remaining one here i2 terms and constant so i2 terms 35 minus 9 is 26 with the symbol plus with the symbol plus so here i am writing with the same symbol plus only so what i got here 26 i2 26 i2 that uh, 60 and 21 difference is 39 39 so log is minus that equal to 0 so from this i2 equal to transposing minus 39 will become plus 39 here 26 is multiplied becomes denominator here divisor so 13 table 13 2 times 13 3 times 3 by 2 so 2 1 ja, 2 1.5 so here i2 equal to i got 1.5 amperes by substituting this 1.5 in any equation you are able to get i1 value 
right? Substitute that value in any equation one, two, three, four, five. Then you will get the value of i one. I got i two equal to by substituting that I'll get i one equal to. So let me solve that also. So here substituting this one point five in a equation one suppose. So what is equation one is so no no minus a uh, there. So I'll take uh, equation two positive signs are there right lower coefficient so that is 3 i1 so 3 i1 plus 7 i2 7 into 1.5 minus 12 equal to 0 so 3 i1 i sees then opposite side minus 2 will become plus 12 and 1.5 7 times is 7 1 is 7, 7 3 is 35. So 10.5 we will get. This is minus. So the difference is 1.5. That is 3 i1 equal to. Then i1 equal to what? 1.5 by 1.5 by 3. So 3 1 is 3 5 is 15. So it is decimals. So 0 0.5 amperes. 0 0.5 amperes. Are you clear about this one? How I got I1 and I2 values? Go to quick impression. If there is any confusion in solving this, give me your quick impression. S yes or no. So once again, you need to practice this to understand about the mathematical procedure. Right? So here I got I1 and I2 values i1 and i2 values so remember those values i1 equal to i am writing here i1 equal to 0 0.5 and i2 is equal to i got 1.5 right let us go to the question here right okay by clearing that may be erased okay so i1 is equal to i got 0 0.5 and i2 equal to i got 1.5 so what actually asked in your question to solve so let us see the okay, drawn from the, the current right what amount of current is passing through this 12 volt battery here look at that is i1 plus i2 current so i1 equal to what 1.5 and i2 equal to what 0 0.5 the amount of current passing through it is equal to 2 amperes so that is your answer here look at that so, is it clear, everyone? Give me your quick impression. Is it clear how I got the answer? So practice it again. Practice it again. No response from 10th class. Abhinay. Richard. Okay, now given. Vikrant. Right. So this is about our today's topic. There is only one topic left. That is electric uh, power. Electric power. So we will complete this lesson by tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. We will meet tomorrow at the same time.